Hello gems and welcome back to the Sapphire Star. Today we're going to be talking about something that is super duper popular lately and that is called PNG tubing. It is one of the fastest ways to become a VTuber without having to put in a ton of time and a ton of money. It's a really great way to just get started if you want to at least have something rather than nothing while live streaming or creating videos. So by the end of this video you are going to have a working PNG tuber model with a really cool tool developed by Fuji or Fugi. I'm actually not quite sure how to say their name, but big thanks to Fuji slash Fugi uh, because this is a really wonderful tool for all of us to use to make our streaming dreams come true. Without further ado, let's get started right away with all the steps it takes to become a PNG tuber. So the first and most important thing for you to have is an actual character or an actual model or a picture that you can use for PNG tubing. Now you can commission this through an artist that you find and you can check out this video up above if you're interested in learning more about hiring artists or you can draw the character yourself. Now this video won't be talking too much about the actual creation of the character so I'm going to assume you already have a picture and a character ready to go for PNG tubing. After you have your character ready to go or your image set up, You'll want to make sure you have a Discord account. You can download it for Windows or you can open it in browser. And once you create a Discord account, you're gonna end up linking that up to Fuji Tech. So how this works is you'll go to Fuji Tech and I'll leave this link down in the description. You'll click login. You're gonna authorize your Discord account that you created to Fuji Tech. Fuji Tech, Fuji Tech. And once you are in and ready to go, you're gonna have this little config or this little panel. I'm gonna move, move myself down slightly here. <laughs> Hello. And this is where you're gonna kind of control all of the different effects effects that can happen. But the most important thing that you do is you upload your file or your character. So this is my PNG tuber right here. I will do a different one for this demo just to show you. So for example, say this is the picture that I wanted to use for Sapphire. And then you can choose a second one over here that it will turn to when you are talking and when you're talking is activating. So usually you'll have people have like their eyes open and maybe their eyes closed and their hand raised waving. So that's a really cool way that you can do it to make it look a little bit more interactive than just having a PNG that lights up. So that's something that's very common and very popular. And in this case, I'll just choose a separate image completely for it to change to so you guys can see kind of how that works. Uh, next, I highly recommend having this bounce effect on. I think it's really nice. You guys will kind of see what it looks like later. And you can just edit all this other stuff later and then we'll go ahead and click apply. So once you have, once you're logged in and you have your uh, speaking image and your inactive image set up, you're going to want to make sure that you join a Discord server so that it knows that it's being activated. This is kind of just how it's connected to the whole thing. So you can create your own like random Discord server if you wanted to. If you've never done that before, you click the plus button down here. But I use my own uh, personal server, which by the way, you can join if you'd like to connect more with the community. Uh, I have a stream room that I go to that only I'm allowed to go into for permission. So if I go in here, you'll see me sitting here and you want to make sure you are unmuted here for it to work. So if I unmute myself here, you can see my PNG tuber lighting up when I talk now. And but we still have to set that up. It's not going to work right away for you and I'm going to show you what the next step is after you connect everything to the Fuji Tech. And let's go do that next. So the next step essentially would be downloading OBS Studio. This is the program that I use to record all of my YouTube videos and to live stream. I have the Windows version and after you download that you can extract it and then open it up. Once you have everything downloaded you can go to your search bar here and type in OBS Studio and then you will go ahead and open and launch it. So next I'm going to show you how to create a scene in OBS. You just click this plus button down here. We can call this PNG test and then you will go ahead and click OK. You will go ahead and right click in the sources section, click add and you'll do a browser source. Now we'll just call this PNG tuber, click OK and you will want to put a URL in here which will be found in the Fuji Tech web page. So you'll go to the individual browser source, it says my name right here, Sapphire, and we'll go ahead and copy this to clipboard. Then you will open back up OBS and you'll paste that URL directly in here. And the other thing that I like to make sure is that my width and height is 1080 by 1920, which is just standard screen size, and we'll click OK. And now you can see my PNG tuber down here as we stare into the abyss. Uh, you can go ahead and resize it if you want. It looks like I actually set it up wrong, so I'm going to go back into my properties and do, I think it's 1920 by 1080. I always mess it up, like literally every time. And if you want, you can just move your PNG tuber over here. You can hold down Alt key and like clip the sides if you want it to be a little bit more clean. 
But there you go. Now you are a PNG tuber and you can utilize this uh, for your live streams or for your YouTube videos. Hopefully that will get you started on becoming a PNG tuber and I am hoping to make a more in-depth PNG tutorial in the future. So make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you can see when that comes out because there are like three different PNG tuber programs and all of them do different things that have different cool advanced features. And I really want to talk about that in another video. Without further ado, I hope you enjoyed a ton and we'll see you next time on the Sapphire Star. Goodbye.